Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to do the demo and review for Huda Beauty. I have two products here. I have the color corrector which is the faux filter color corrector in peach and then I also grabbed the Huda Beauty faux filter concealer in the shade Coconut Flakes 2.7N. Um, so about these concealers before we do the demo. The concealer comes in 29 shades. Um, it's $31. It's a matte waterproof medium coverage blurring brightening transfer proof concealer. And then the color corrector um, comes in five shades. It's $30. It's lightweight brightening, transfer proof, crease proof, sweat proof, medium coverage, also has vitamin C and niacinamide. So that is a little bit about these two products. Um, I'm going to start with the corrector. Um, I do find that this corrector is a very special shade. I struggle with the right corrector shades because I'm light medium skin tone. So this is what it looks like right here. It's a beautiful kind of like cantaloupe color. It's got pink, it's got orange, it's got peach. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful shade and I love it. Has your traditional doe foot as well. So I'm going to just take a little bit on my ring finger and go right in. As you can see, it brightens me up too, as well as helping conceal the darkness. I am preferring the ring finger method. It just works best for me. One thing I will say about the packaging on this product, it's a little bit messy, um, but that's all right. And I'm just pressing it in. Actually looks pretty good like that, but of course I will add a concealer. And then I'm gonna go in with the Coconut Flakes Concealer. This one has a very interesting, it's a doe foot too, but it has kind of like a flick in it. I have found less is more with concealer, so keep that in mind everybody. Come back in. Super bright, beautiful concealer. All right, once that's on, I'm gonna go in with the Givenchy Prism Libre Shade 3, which is the pink one. Um, this is my go-to setting for under my eye. I love this stuff. I do like to dust it on my lids. It is super blurring. All right, and with that, I will put the rest of my makeup on and I'll be back. All right, guys, with the magic of YouTube, all my makeup is on and this is the final look. As you can see, it gives a beautiful brightened under eye, looks very natural, um, and I just love it. If you guys haven't, uh, figured it out yet. Um, I think this might be one of the best color correctors I have ever tried in my life. Um, it's just the right color. There's something special about it. It's a thin enough fluid that it kind of melts in and masks it, not too thick where I look cakey or gross or adds extra texture. It just is something special. I totally understand the hype around this now and I completely understand why everybody buys it all the time and it's constantly sold out. There are some negatives. Obviously, the fact that it's sold out all the time is what took me so long to try it. Um, the other negative I will say is the component kind of oozes a bit. And I find that extra annoying. Maybe I just got one that doesn't have a good plug in it or whatever, but um, that is kind of annoying as well. As far as for the actual concealer, this is something special too. I'm shocked that I like this. It, is, uh, it says it is a luminous matte, which kind of seems like an oxymoron, right? How can you be luminous and matte at the same time? But somehow it is. It is matter than most concealers I have tried. However, it gives just the most beautiful finish and I love that it's like 
waterproof and transfer proof and smudge proof, all of those things um, that normally you don't get with this kind of a lightweight concealer. Super lightweight, looks great under the eye. I don't have any issues with dryness with this, um, which is what I was worried about and why I hadn't tried it in the past, but I definitely think these two products are a must try. And if you are looking for a color corrector, this is like the holy grail of color correctors. I haven't found one this good in years. Um, and it's probably the best one out currently that I've tried. Um, you can buy it at Sephora. You can buy it um, on her own website. And then I also believe it is sold at Mimi's as well. If you're a licensed professional, you can get yours there. Um, with that being said, I think this concealer and corrector is a total win and I love it. Um, it actually makes me more interested in her brand and I want to try more things. I didn't try her foundations and stuff because of the perfume in it and I don't want that on my skin, but these don't have any kind of scent at all. They don't bother me whatsoever. And I think they're a really great product and for the money, you can't beat it. Um, I think I forgot to say the gram, so I'll do that now. Nine mils and zero point. 30 fluid ounces. So you're getting a decent amount for your $30 price range. And I think it's a great product. I highly recommend it, you guys. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. In that description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.